word and the power of prayer. And the power of prayer. Now, now you all have some problems. Maybe financial problems, like maybe your health decline. Just raise your hand. Or you go to your problems. Maybe you go to your friends. Maybe you go to your pastor. Maybe you invite your kids. All that. And that's fine. But in doing that, you're missing the bigger picture. You're missing the bigger picture. Who you should be taking your problems is problems to is God. Yeah. Mama can't help you. Daddy can't help you. I can't help you. But God can. And God will. So that's who you need to put all your problems in. And that's back in verses 3 and 4. It says, Praise be to God and, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that second part of verse 4. Who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Uh -huh. Now, as Christians, we're supposed to be Christ like, right? That's right. And there's a couple people out there in the world. Yes, who aren't like us, who may not be Christ-like, which is their belief. But our job is to be sort of that bridge for them to reach God. So you see them, if you think of your coworker, your classmate, see, see them down, like, oh, what's wrong? Oh, I've just been slamming everything going on in life. I've just been trying to take one day at a time. As Christians, we can be like, oh, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but how do you try to give your problems to God? Hey, so how do you try to call on the Lord? to bless you and give you a hand and work his magic for you. That's, that's, that's our job as Christians, to be that, be that bridge for others to Christ. Because Christ, Christ works miracles. Amen. That's back in verse 4. Love, love that one, love that one. So that we can comfort those in any trouble with comfort. We ourselves receive from God. And also, when we suffer, and we keep our faith in the Lord, it's really loud. It, it acts as a beacon to show others the, good, the goodness of God. And people, people see us struggling, like, man, how do you, just how do you get through it? You just, hard times just keep crushing you, just keep crushing you, just how, how are you maintaining it? Because I have faith in the Lord. Amen. I give my troubles to God. I have faith in my God. Amen. That's, that's what verse 6. Verse 6 7. Yeah, if we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort which produces. Oh. Oh. The, point, the point remains. The point stands. And you may be asking me, oh, Justin, how, why, why are you assuming all this? You're like, oh, are you, are you sure that God will do this? I know it, not only because it's in the Bible, in verse 10, where it says, he has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. We're all living proof, and we see it every day. Amen. I see it every day. Amen. Every single one of us standing here, so sitting, sitting here, standing here, standing here. All of us here right now, still having a life, and still having the life we have, and still being able to live and breathe, and just be able to come here and worship God. That's that's who we that. Any, any troubles you may have, any sicknesses, God put it, put it aside enough to be able to let you come here and yeah. come here and praise him. Yeah. And that, that in itself is just a blessing. Yeah. And you have within your God and within your spirit. I believe that God will, that God can and will help you through all your, all your troubles. And that's a message that Amen. should be spread, not just not just here, but also just out in the streets, not in this world. Because right now, we need a lot of comfort in this world. And all our comfort can be found through God. Amen. All right.